Yeah, so this morning we had uh, hard luck out on the water, not a lot of wind, just bad weather conditions for what we're trying to do for divers. So we decided to come out and try this spot. We've been seeing some mallards out here for the past week. Um, kind of just breaking up ice right now. So we're hoping that uh, some mallards come through here right at the end of the light. We've got some goose floaters with us too. We've been seeing a lot of geese behind the house back here. And uh, and Ben just got wet if you want to turn over there. Oh. <laughs> Fill the waders. Great way, get wet. <laughs> Great way to start the evening hunt. Try to get out and see some actual birds. Uh, quick jog up the river. There's usually a good sandbar where the geese like to loaf during the day. So we'll see if they actually come through. They've been sitting pretty tight, but time will really tell. No, God, no. Oh, we're about to lose this whole ice Oh, don't land on the eye. <laughs> nice. <laughs> How's it going guys? A little mid hunt update here. We got about 25 minutes left till legal shooting light ends and these geese are just not doing it like we want them to. Um, we were hoping for some smaller packs, some three packs, some four packs because normally they do it pretty good out here but they're all bunched up really tight in big flocks. You're not really going to land a flock of 50 down this little creek. Well it's the end of day one. We still have another day. Tomorrow is always brighter they always say. You know can't win them all but we're gonna come back tomorrow, try even harder, and uh, hopefully everything works out. We've got positive mindsets, and uh, that's all we can do, right? Uh, well, we woke up to a winter wonderland. Uh, got a couple inches of snow last night, typical Wisconsin winters, especially late season, so had to do a change of plans. We're now going over to a mallard hole that we've been watching for a couple of days, now shot some ducks on a couple of days ago. So we're going to see if it turns out and uh, we're bringing out the kayak. It's about waist deep in muck, so hopefully some of that's frozen. But, you know, it's the best option we have at this point just because the weather shifted on us yet again. So just the way it goes. Well, Tom kicked off the pond. Um, we're going to go set up a couple decoys and... I mean, some of those we could have tried to sneak up on and shoot, but we're just really hoping Derek's hunted this in the past month and 
let them get off nice and easy. There's a lot of water locked up right now, and then the thought is that there's gonna come back, nice little groups, do it good to the calling the decoys, so. Should be a good little morning here in the snow. I say just stack people up, yeah. Yeah, so today it's about the end of season in Wisconsin. So Wisconsin's split into two zones, northern and southern. Northern's already closed, and then southern zone closes after Monday. And this weekend, I mean, you guys are going to see just what a grind it can be, especially here in Wisconsin. And for the end of the season, this is pretty typical. Usually you'll end up losing the last weekend just due to snow and cold weather. Usually don't feel like breaking too much ice, and then sometimes the ice just tends to get a little too thick. Yeah, it's been a great weekend just to be able to get out with the friends one last time for duck season here in Wisconsin. Uh, possibly might be my last duck season in Wisconsin just because I am graduating here in a couple of days. So really excited to, you know, try some new stuff, but really going to miss a lot of the guys around here. So I'm really happy to be able to go out one more time before, you know, end of the season, I guess. This is UWSP, uh, Ducks Unlimited signing off. Uh, be sure to follow Campus Waterfall, like and subscribe, leave a comment below, and tell us about how your season went. Love to hear more.